hey what is up guys akar shir back with another video and uh, i recently got to know about the 662k it is a linear dropout voltage regulator and we'll take a look at it in today's video although taking a look will be difficult because of its size and we would be also comparing it to the famously used triple uh, one seven voltage regulator and maybe the 705 also so let's get started so this is the 662k and the 662k comes in a sort 23 package whereas the triple one seven comes in a sort 223 package so let's uh, see what the difference that makes so the sort 223 package is approximately if we see in the size of the chip it's like 3 cross 3 mm whereas the triple one seven this one uh, it may be red triple one seven it depends the initial uh, letters depend on the vendor and the triple one seven comes in a sort 223 package and its area a rough area is around 7 cross 7 mm so if we see so if this is the triple one seven then approximately four 662 k's can fit inside this so the this chip the 662k is really small so depending because of its size now let's see a normal uh this is a normal prototyping board uh, which has a pitch of 2.5 mm so the triple one seven could be easily soldered by hand because its pitch almost matches the width of the so you can see it almost matches so that is a plus point in this uh, so for hobbyist triple one seven is a better option probably because coming to the cost factor the triple one seven if you buy i'll uh, compare the cost for both for approximately 50 pieces so if you buy from any chinese vendor or aliexpress i'll mention the links for these products in uh, the description box below so if you buy 50 pieces it will cost you around uh, 85 cents whereas for this one it will cost you for 50 pieces sorry i'll color code this for 50 pieces it will cost you around uh, 75 cents i suppose for per piece this will cost around 1.5 cents and this will cost around 1.7 cents so that is not much of a difference but coming to the technical aspects of these two uh, regulators the uh, low dropout regulators um, firstly the the area comes into play secondly we see that the current the output current so what does a voltage uh, regulator do it takes in a higher voltage so this is both of these are 3.3 volt regulators so suppose there's a circuit you plug in 5 volts into these or some unknown voltage and you get out 3.3 volts for some uh, microcontroller etc so for example the arduino uno uses the famous triple one seven as a vol onboard voltage regulator for the chip so that is what voltage regulator will do in any circuit so the output current is different for both of these chips so we see that the current for the 662 as the data sheet made, uh, publishes is 250 milliamp max so i out max whereas i out max for the triple one seven is mentioned around 800 milliamperes for power dissipation reasons i would suggest you to operate these chips at half the output current possible so it's like you operate this as around uh, 100 to 125 milliamps whereas you operate this at around 400 milliamps this would be optimal for uh, heat dissipation also because if you use these chips in the uh, best way possible in the highest current then these will heat up and they may get damaged 
so that is the condition for the i out max now talking about heat uh, there's a really basic formula for heat dissipation where the power dissipated is equal to i out into v in minus v out so this is the formula which we use for calculating how much power would be dissipated uh, during the conversion because basically this voltage gets lost because of the conversion it gets multiplied by the output current that is the power dissipated in the form of heat now again talking about heat the 1117 has a small heat sink at its top so it's called tab in its data sheet which can be soldered to a heat sink to provide better uh, heat dynamics whereas the 662k doesn't have anything like that it only has three terminals talking of terminals let's see the basic pin out of the 662k so 662k is like this with three tabs over here whereas the reg 1117 is something like this with three tabs in the bottom and one tab at the top three terminals three terminals one tab so this is the 1117 and this is the 662k so the top terminal is the input voltage this terminal is for ground this one is for output voltage and for the 1117 we can see the first one is ground the last one is the input so v in and this one is v out these are the pin outs for the uh, individual chips also the for for stability so uh, so these voltage regulators need to be stable while converting these voltages so capacitors are added in both of these uh, voltage regulators externally while building the circuit so i'll put the photos of the data sheets like right here and here so these are the circuits for which are recommended for use so as you can see the 662k requires two capacitors of 1 microfarad each as an input and output uh, capacitor which removes basic ripples and all and the 1117 recommends a 10 microfarad capacitor at its input and output so basically we can see the size difference the cost difference the current difference according to the current difference you can calculate the power dissipate uh, dissipation that will occur in your circuit because of the voltage difference so that is a basic overview of these two uh, voltage regulators when compared face to face so where would you apply these voltage regulators now knowing these pros and cons So, for example, you have an FPGA circuit or somewhat like that, where you only need a reference voltage. Where suppose you have a 12 volt input supply and you have a chip. So, let's assume this isn't a Uno. This is a FPGA or something else. So, this requires many different voltage levels, but it doesn't need current or power from those voltages. So, you will apply the 662K over here, wherein the 662K will just give a low output current. for the the chip just for the sake of applying the voltage as a voltage signal whereas if you need to drive a microcontrollers or any a bit heavier load than the 662k you will use the reg 1117 or the ams 1117 wherein the output current is better also the heat thermodynamics is better so the this will be a better cooling uh, option for you so this will be a lot cooler when applied on a circuit that is the reg 1117 or the uh, ams 1117 also there's a very famous 7805 or 7809 voltage regulators these are these beefy uh, uh, transistor type uh, components wherein you you use these these are for better power so you can use these like 1 1.2 amps and these have these uh, big uh, metal heat sink type things you can attach this to a heat sink and you are hunky dory to go so that is it about this so i'll suggest personally as a hobbyist you should use this reg 1117 because soldering for this is easier as compared to this this is more 
readily available more uh, because the price is almost same like 0.2 cents is per piece uh, difference i'll mention the links below for the products but i would suggest this whereas if you're developing a pcb you're putting a voltage regulator in a product i will recommend to use this so that is it from my side thanks for watching subscribe to our channel if you haven't till now hit the bell icon to get notified when we release a new video